Hey y'all, welcome back to Southern Mud Pottery on the Homestead. And today we are gonna be cooking out of a vintage cookbook. And I am a cookbook collector. I love vintage old cookbooks. Mostly I like the ones with the little spirals on them, but I really like any of the old cookbooks. Sometimes I might buy newer cookbooks, but I really like to find the old ones at antique stores and flea markets and stuff like that. And so today we're going to be cooking out of the Presley family cookbook. And I've got my coffee here. So let me sit this right here. <clears throat> this is the cookbook that we're going to be cooking out of. And we're going to be making a blackberry cobbler. We picked some blackberries yesterday. And we're gonna be cooking a cobbler out of this book. And I think, I found this at a, um, I think it was at a flea market in Tennessee, I think. But it supposedly, it was printed in Memphis, Tennessee. And I think that it is Elvis Presley's uncle that did this cookbook. Because he does, at the back in different places, it'll have like, this is Elvis's favorite um, sandwich, um, like peanut, he liked peanut butter sandwiches, it said. Um, and then it, it has his favorite drinks that he likes. It says, this is Elvis's favorite drinks. His soft drinks, Dr. Pepper was number one. It says diet drinks, strawberry Shasta. I don't know what strawberry Shasta is or was. I've never heard of it. And then it says juices, orange juice, and then other drinks was ice water. He, they say he ate, drank ice water with every meal. But anyway, so that's just a little history on this cookbook. I believe it's some of his family made this cookbook and it's got to be back. It's got to be printed in the late seventies, early eighties. But um, I've got lots of cookbooks like these. This is just one that I picked out. This is actually one of the newest ones that I bought is this one. And it seems pretty easy. It's different than what I've made them. Now I've made my crust the same way as this calls, but I've never done the berries the way that this cookbook says. Okay. So I've always made my crust almost like this one. Normally I melt my butter in the dish, but they don't do it this way. So we're gonna do it the way the cookbook says do it and we're doing the crazy crust for our cobbler. So we're gonna do the crust first. And it calls for one cup of self-rising flour. Let me turn y'all down. Okay, one cup of self-rising flour. One cup of sugar. One stick of butter, and it didn't say if it needed to be melted. I melted mine. The recipe didn't specify. Okay, and then it says two thirds cup of milk. We're using buttermilk. I need to get rid of this buttermilk, so we are just going to use the buttermilk. Okay, and then we're going to stir this up. And we are gonna pour it in a dish. You can use one dish. I'm gonna be using two dishes because I'm gonna be giving this one of them to someone. Y'all, I can smell this buttermilk. It smells good. So we're just gonna do equal parts or try to do equal parts the best that we can. Y'all, I'm gonna have dishes piled up everywhere. And I'm just gonna kind of smooth that around in there. And this is gonna bubble up over your fruit when you add your fruit, is what it says. All right, 
I'm gonna sit these to the side. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna make our blackberry filling, and it calls for two 16 ounce cans of blackberries. I don't have cans of blackberries, I've got fresh blackberries. So we're just going to um, use those and see how that comes out. It calls for one stick of butter, one tablespoon of corn starch, two and a half cups of sugar, and one can of cold water. So let's get that together. All right, so now we're gonna start on our blackberries and it says pour berries and water into the saucepan. So we're gonna pour water and it didn't say, it just said a can of cold water. Well, it's calling for two 16 ounce cans of blackberries. So I'm thinking they're just wanting to use one of those 16 ounces cans. So this is 16 ounces of water. All right, and then we're going to add our berries. Okay, we've got our berries and our water. All right, it says add butter and sugar and stir in cornstarch. Cook until slightly thick. So I'm gonna cut it on, I'm gonna cut it not quite to medium. So we're gonna add our sugar, the butter, and then we're gonna stir in the cornstarch last. All right, we're gonna let this come to start getting warm and melt our butter. So while we're waiting on our blackberries to come to a boil, I wanted to show y'all some of my favorite cook bowls. Well, I've got, they're not just my favorite, but they're some that I like to look through. I just like to sit down and look through them like if I was reading a book, I look through the cookbooks. This one is one I'm sure I found at an antique store or thrift store, and it says, into the second century, and this is French Camp Academy, which is a um, little academy in Mississippi, and it's this. And then this one is one, it's a collection of 900 tasty recipes from Mennonite homes all across America. This one's got lots of recipes in it. Okay, this one is Precious Preparations from Highland Baptist Church. And let's see, and I don't know where I got this one from. And it doesn't say which town that it's that it's from. It just says Highland Baptist Church. But it looks like an older one. And then this was my first cookbook ever. My aunt gave me this cookbook when me and Justin got married. And that has been 21 years ago I've had this cookbook. This was my very first cookbook. And it says old and new recipes from the Neshoba County Philadelphia Museum. And this is probably one of my treasured possessions. I've held on to it for a long time. So, this is just a couple of my cookbooks. I couldn't pull all of them out and show you all of them because I have got a lot of them that I've collected and I still collect. So let's go over here and check on those blackberries and see if they have came to a bowl and if our butter has melted. Okay. Our butter is beginning to melt. And we can go ahead and add our one tablespoon of cornstarch and let it be thickening up. Start that in. We're going to cook this again on top of our 
crust and we're gonna cook it for 45 minutes on 350 degrees. So your berries are gonna cook down when they're in the oven, cooking in the oven. We're just trying to get them, get a thick syrup right now. All right, now we're gonna pour this over our crust. to sprinkle with sugar. All right, so we'll come back after we pull this out of the oven in 45 minutes, and we'll see how the blackberry cobbler from the Presley cookbook We've turns got out. 15 minutes left, and this is what they're looking like so far. Y'all, these turned out so yummy looking. So we're gonna eat these after a while. We're gonna give this one thing. I'm gonna give that one to my mom and my dad, but. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We hope you will like this video and subscribe to our channel. The more subscriptions and the more likes that we get and you commenting on here and interacting with our channel helps our channel to grow. So we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great night and a good weekend.